I probably should have been burning. This is not good. We are going way too fast here. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to get rid of it. I don't want to kill Jeb. Uh-oh. Whoa! <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> Hello and welcome, friends, to Kerbal Space Program 1.0. I'm going to call this a mini-series. Um, actually, I think this might go a little bit longer than I had originally intended, just because there's so much to do now in Kerbal Space Program and career mode, so... We'll have fun selecting my NASA flag. I thought I would show you guys how I'm going to set everything up. Uh, it's pretty much normal on normal difficulty, but I did get rid of the ability to um, have missing crews respawn. And I'm going to allow quick loading for sure. Reverting flights, I'll probably only do that if it's something stupid, like I forget like solar panels or something like that. Otherwise, I will have to live with the deaths of my Kerbals, as hard as that is to come to, to, come to terms with. Nonetheless, you can see all my settings here. Reentry, normal. Resource abundance, normal. Science, normal. Everything normal. So again, just a pretty normal game. Just getting where the missing crew respawns. And so if you've seen some of my other videos, this may be a little bit different. It'll be a little bit slower paced. Um, I'll make cuts. Um, I probably won't show building just because that tends to take me a long time to do. And I will, I'll show launches and most of reentries and things like that. But I'll try to keep it at a, a little bit nice pace, but it'll be a little bit slower than kind of what you're probably used to with some of my videos. Um, so we're just starting out here, our KSC. Um, so we have a lo lot of things we can do here. I think the first thing I probably need to go ahead and do is, uh, I don't know, I, th I probably should take out, check out the tech tree maybe. Maybe see what's going on there. Yeah, let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and do that, I guess. Okay. So it's all open now. That's one of the new things with the the, uh, the tech tree, which is pretty cool. So you can kind of see the route you want to take, which I think is a nice improvement. Um, you can kind of see the end result. And I think my objective with this series is, um, I think I've done series in the past, but I haven't necessarily kind of uh, stuck with it just because, well, time constraints, obviously. I have a little bit more time these days. Um, and also the fact that I usually don't set like kind of an objective. So I want to do that. And this is, again, kind of be like a mini series. So I think quite simply what I'm going to do is... I want to fill out the tech tree. I want to completely fill out the tech tree, and then I think I'll call call it as is on that series, or this series. So I think that's my main goal that I'm going to kind of aim for. Uh, it'll take some time. I'm going to do it non-cheesy. I'm going to try to avoid too many of those, like, testing on land contracts. Uh, I'd like to go interplanetary to do some of this, too. So that's my goal. I think that's really what I'm going to be aiming for, as we kind of accept a couple of easy missions here that we can go ahead and complete. Uh, one of the nice things, too, about the, the missions in 1.0 as I adjust my, some of my mods here. <laughs> um, one of the nice things about it is you can actually, like it has like those missions that used to be like reach 5,000 meters, reach 10,000 meters. Like it automatically gives you those. So you don't have to accept those, which I think is 100% ideal as we start to do some science here. Uh, so it's, it's kind of nice in that way, in the sense where you really don't have to, you know, force yourself to like only go 5,000 meters. It'll just accept the next one automatically, even while you're flying. And you can see I'm using a really cool mod. I've done a mod overview on this. Science Alert, one of my favorites, because I would forget to do science 95% of the time if it was not for that mod. <laughs> oh, man. It's a great mod, though. Really worthwhile. We can do a little bit more science here. By my, I might hold off for a second. Um, you can see I just completed three contracts. So it gave me the ones automatically. You see I'm, they're just popping up. I'm going to go ahead and do my mystery you now. Uh, so it's nice. It's nice like that. You just kind of start to get more contracts pile up. Um, those kind of like, I think they're called like mile, like initial milestone contracts. Like they usually do a speed and distance and things like that. Um, it's much more balanced. It used to be a little bit harder to kind of get some money and funding at the beginning of the Rebel Space Program. But kind of through this system, it's a lot, a lot better. So that's good. We float around here. Coming back down. I do have some mods, obviously, you can tell. So... We have the clouds, which is not stock in Kerbal Space Program by any stretch of the imagination. Um, yeah, we're just going to kind of free fall here. And I'll uh, deploy my parachute, and then I'll just kind of maybe move along from here. Pretty standard. Uh, you start off with just that solid rocket booster as well as some of the science stuff. Um, as well as the uh, the the, uh, the capsule. So we're, we're coming in here just for a nice landing. It's six meters a second, so this should be fine. Yep. Perfect. Landed just perfectly. And we'll do an EVA report as poor Jeb here falls out and almost hurts himself. 
Durable Kerbals, thankfully. You can see the mission here. We got 35, 24 science earned. Uh, so that's pretty good. 2,800 funds. Not bad at all. Jeb is good. He gains some XP. That's exactly what we want. And we got uh, some nice money from that, too. 61,000. Yeah, so you can see here all these, all these things. Skip the atmosphere. We'll go ahead and accept that. I think I can go ahead and do that fairly easily uh, without, without too much of an issue at all. Mighty stretch of the imagination. All right, so we have some options that we can kind of have some fun with here. Uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and take out the check out the tech tree, and I mean we can just get these. I think these will be good. This will give this the uh, science junior, which I think will be a nice upgrade. I can really start to pump out some science with that thing. Uh, so the materials bay for sure. And yeah, we'll get basic rocketry. And I have some points I can play around with here. I might. Hmm. I might get general rocketry because I think you get the, the swivel on the parachutes and heat shield. That that would be nice too. That would definitely not be a bad thing. Stability, just the decouplers would be nice on the side there. Actually, uh, I don't know. This this is a tough choice here. So they've redone the tech tree, so it's completely redone. Uh, so there are a lot of different options and routes you can kind of go. Um, I really wish they would still have, like, so you could do, like, planes earlier. I feel like it's a good struggle to really get planes, but uh, I think I'm going to, yeah, general rocketry, I think, is the way to go, because I really like having that gimbling engine, uh, the LV-45, or the swivel, as it is now called. <laughs> I think it's really useful for, for launch. Um, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and keep doing missions, got to earn some money so we can upgrade some of our facilities. We have a nice lift off here. Do that crew report. Get some more science. Absolutely, 100% what we want as we fly away from beautiful Kerbin. So scenic. And let's see, what do I need to accomplish here? Um, yeah. So I have a few that are just automatic. Um, they're kind of like these automatic missions as I mentioned before so that's that's nice I'm gonna set this as default I think so I don't have to worry about that there we go that's nice okay I love this uh, it's the contracts plus mod very very useful uh, very nice to have so we got one we got the 7500 meters record that was very simple to do um, 450 meters a second got that no problem Escape atmosphere. Well, let's see if I have enough fuel to actually do this here. Uh, 35,000 meters. That's not bad. We might be able to do this. We have quite a bit of fuel right now. Mystery goo. Yes, let's definitely do that science. Not bad. Not bad. You're progressing nicely. 80,000 meters. Yep, that'll get me out of atmosphere. Perfect. Uh, and on the plus side, I completed a lot of these like speed records and altitude records, so that's always a plus too, right? <laughs> Look at Jeb. Jeb's so happy. It's still, it's hard not to love Jeb. Yeah, so we're cruising up here. Um, one of the things I do like about the new career mode, I feel like it gets you a much more kind of realistic progression in the sense of. Uh, you know, you're not starting with manned probes and things like that necessarily, kind of as, you know, nested, obviously. That's kind of the format of how these things go. You start with probes, or you start with, you know, remote-controlled rockets, and then you eventually put, you know, humans in there. So it's a little bit different in Kerbal Space Program. Um, so hopefully they'll have a nice, like, I think there was, like, a better-than-starting manned mod back in the uh, point nine that was really cool, where you start out with probes, so you got much more of a realistic approach. But my style of play, and you'll see this in career mode, is I like to play pretty realistic. You know, so I may even, uh, before I go to the moon, like I might send like a probe first or do like a flyby. Um, some, something like that I think would be kind of a fun thing to do before just necessarily just kind of hopping in here. We're, uh, I think I'm going to try to land this thing, like SpaceX style. <laughs> um, I'm kind of a penny pincher when it, comes to, when it comes to these things, so I think I might go ahead and try to do that. I don't know. I just have fun doing that, so that's just me. I like to save as much money as I can because you will eventually need it as we start to see some of the re reheating effects here, which is interesting. Coming down nicely. 
So you see some of that camera shake too. Okay, reheating from this, not that bad. Oh, I probably should have been burning. This is not good. We are going way too fast here. Right, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to get rid of it. I don't want to kill Jeb. Uh oh. Whoa! <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> oh my gosh. Whew. Well, that was close. Um, but Jeb survived. <laughs> I was coming in way too fast there, and <laughs> I did the rocket because I wanted to make sure he survived. But uh, yeah, apparently, not, not such a good idea. Um, when the rocket's still going to ditch. <laughs> uh, well, oh, he's okay. We survived. And let's go ahead and climb there. Do a little bit of science. We're good. Got 38 science. Not bad at all for that mission. I'm pretty happy with that, actually. Parts. 2,500 funds. So that's nice. Got some of those parts back, despite... Despite me ditching the rocket, I would have liked to have gotten more. But Jeb's good. Survived. It's, not, it's nice. You see here, I have a little bug with all these real parachutes uh, things here. That's okay. These mods are very early on. I probably jumped the gun installing some of them a little bit early, but it should still work. Got a lot of missions done. We're doing well. We're off to a nice start, despite, despite almost killing poor Jebediah. All right, we have some science to play around here. Survivability, parachutes, um, heat shield, which is going to become necessary, so I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, I think that's pretty important. And I can get the radial decouplers as well. So we have plenty of science here to mess around with. So we still have a ways to go on the tech tree. So our goal is to fill all of this out. Which will be... It'll be a journey, that is for sure. We still have a ways to go. Um, so I'm not really sure where I want to go up next. It's nice kind of being able to see where these like kind of go out. Um, I'd like to do... I like flying now. I really like the new atmosphere in this game. I really like flying. I think it's a pretty fun thing to do. So maybe that's something I could consider. Do some of those, like... Um, oh, man, what are they called? Um, the visual surveys. There they are. Um, and you can see here some of our new missions in Kerbal Space Program 1.0. So ferrying a vi VIP safely to destination. And I don't know. I'm going to have to try this. Because it says, like, suborbital flight on Kerbin incomplete. So I assume you just have to... Their destination would be... You know, suborbital, and then you come back, and then they're safe. I think it would be cool if, like, you had missions where it was, like, you know, you go to Duna, you get dropped off on Duna, like, you know, like a hotel or a resort type thing. Like, you know, you're actually, like, a like a transport service. I think those would be cool missions here. So we're lifting off, continuing to do missions, gain science, build up towards the, the end of the tech tree. Um. So we just, uh, we have a little rocket to complete a couple of missions with these these real chutes, um, or these radial parachutes. Uh, I think I'm trying to do two, yeah, yes, let's see here, um, yeah, yeah, so I need to get two parachutes deployed in order to do this to make a little bit of money, so I think they're almost at the exact same See, 23,000, 24,000. Yeah, so they basically have almost the exact same parameters. So you only see the same height, um, and it's the same speed, pretty much. Yeah, almost exactly the same, 23 to 24, that's pretty good. Let's see, I'm up to 13,000 in my Apple apps, so I need to push up a little bit higher. I need to reduce my speed as well here, too. That's gonna be an issue. <laughs> 7,000. Okay, that should be good. Now I need to slow myself. Hopefully, do a little bit of the crew port here, get some more science. Hmm. I don't know if I'm going to be able to slow myself enough to get this done. Okay, we're at height for that one. We have up to 28,000 meters to get both these done. Oh yeah, we should be good. Sweet, there's one. There's the other. Fantastical. So we have some success doing two missions at once. I kind of tend to be a one-track mind where I like to do one mission at a time here. Um, just because, I don't know, that's just the way that I am. Wow, 25,000, 26,000, wow, that's a lot. I'll take it though. I'm not going to complain by any stretch of the imagination. And I'm really going to try to steer clear of... Um, <sighs> 
some of those, I don't know. I just don't like the ones where you land. Because a lot of times you could spam science. And I know they fix, like, the um, in the administrator's building where you could get, like, certain, like, funding stuff. Um, where you could, like, just exchange funding, get tons of science. I know they fix that, which is good. But I still just, I don't know. I just don't like doing those, even though they kind of nerf that a bit. I like to actually go up and see if I can actually go ahead and get the science. The hard way, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Okay, I'll be quiet. And we're coming down here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cut these shoots because I'm going a little bit too slow for my liking right now. Um, yeah. So we're coming back, deploying my main chute. I'm going to try to land this thing. Coming down pretty nicely here. Just need to slow ourselves. Just slow ourselves. Slow ourselves a little bit. Come on. Just a little bit slower. Okay, looking good. Looking good. And touchdown. All right, very nice. Got that down uh, pretty nicely. That wasn't too bad. And we can see we got a little bit of science. Not too much here. Got our funds back because we landed that. So that was very nice. It's absolutely 100% what we want. Jeb's good, and you see I have a lot, <laughs> I have a lot of these real shoot um, indicators here. That's okay. I think there was actually just an update for it, so I think I need to go ahead and update it. That might fix it. Again, I kind of put this mod on early, um, but a very, very good mod. I don't know if I did a mod overview of it, but it's it's a good one. You should definitely check it out. Um, and we don't have enough science to do anything right now, sadly. Contracts. Oh, let's see. Carry them safely to the destinations. I don't. I just. I prefer to have like a multi crewed capsule to do that. I, I really don't want to build something too funky. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and text this Rocco Max brand decoupler. Yeah, I don't know why I had a lapse in judgment about this thing, but uh, apparently the Rocco Max brand decoupler. I thought it was this. <laughs> The smaller one that I actually already had for some foolish reason. So we have this big monstrosity on here as we do a little bit of science with our materials. But ah oh, man, but that's okay. That's not an issue, right? We can still do this. I think we have to get it up to seven thousand meters at five hundred meters a second. I think that is. I think that's going to be doable. I think we can do that. I think I don't think that should be too much of an issue here. And I think this will make this my last because we're starting to get a little bit longer here. Um, towards the 20 minute mark, so I think oh, this will be my last kind of contract. Uh, going forward, I think I'm going to go ahead and um, do some more missions, absolutely 100%. Um, I'd like to do some some flying. I'd like to get some of that in, maybe. I don't know how interesting that would be to watch, though. But we'll see what happens. I would also like to get into orbit. That would be, I think, a good goal to kind of complete before the second episode finishes. And then we can start to look a little bit further, like the moon. Okay, come on. Oh my gosh! I, poor Jeb, man, he's, like, facing death multiple times in this. I think, did that knock off my, uh, I think that rocket slapped off my, uh, my mystery goo container. Dang, what a jerk. <laughs> oh, man, yeah, but, um, as I was saying, yeah, so I think next episode we'll definitely take a look at uh, doing some more contracts, getting some more money, maybe upgrading some of the KSC so we can do a little bit more. Uh, in addition, I'd like to go ahead and do, uh, you know, maybe get into orbit. I think that would be a good goal for the next episode. Well, I really appreciate you guys watching my 1.0 series, mini-series, I'm going to call it. Uh, again, hopefully you've enjoyed. Please go ahead and tap that like button if you did enjoy it. I really appreciate that. helps me out. Um, and in addition, go ahead and subscribe if you'd like to see more. I'd love to have you on board as a subscriber. We just had 50 subscribers the other day, too, so fantastic. It's It's been going well. The channel's been doing well, and I really appreciate you guys for helping me out. Uh, and finally, go ahead and drop me some comments. You guys have been commenting, too, and I absolutely love it. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. And I will see you next time.